Evening. Big trouble tonight in a part of the world that has a lot of people concerned. Pakistan. A nuclear power on the doorstep of Afghanistan, struggling with the forces of Islamic extremism. Two explosions in the heart of the port city of Karachi. The target of those blasts, Benazir Bhutto, a former prime minister trying for a comeback after years of exile. She was not hurt, but there were heavy casualties, at least a hundred dead and many more wounded. The CBC's Michelle Cormier joins us now from Karachi. Michelle. Peter, it was an historic and as it turned out, harrowing homecoming for Pakistan's prodigal daughter. Tens of thousands lined the streets to get a glimpse of Bhutto. Her convoy was making its way in downtown Karachi when the first explosion came. This Pakistani TV journalist saw the explosion. We looked back and there was smoke coming out of this car um, uh, and uh, there was fire in this car, there was a stampede. People were running all over the place, there was complete chaos. And seconds later, the second bomb. Budo had spent most of the day on top of the vehicle, but was taking a rest when the explosions happened. She was not hurt and was quickly rushed away. But at the scene, bodies everywhere. Rescue workers struggled to help the wounded in the heavily congested area, trying to get them to hospital. There had been reports of suicide bombers making their way to Karachi in the last few days, intent on attacking Benazir Bhutto. Pakistani authorities say the explosions were the work of two suicide bombers. The day had started as an historic and emotional homecoming for Bhutto. After eight years of self-imposed exile, Benazir Bhutto stepped off a commercial flight right into her country's chaotic embrace. I dreamt of this day for so many months and years. I counted the hours, I counted the minutes and the seconds just to see this land, to see the grass, to see the sky. Bhutto is reported to have worked out a deal with President Pervez Musharraf to share power and that paved the way for her return to the country. She had dismissed the death threats that were made against her by riding unprotected on top of her armored vehicle. People lined the streets by the tens of thousands to see Bhutto, who they see as Pakistan's last great hope after years of military rule. And we are waiting for a long time. Uh, she is coming in Pakistan. As these blasts show, however, there is violent opposition to Bhutto in Pakistan. The question now is whether she will stay or leave. Michelle, it's been an amazing day and night of events in Karachi. Leaves the question, though, who may have wanted Bhutto dead? Well, her recent statements that she would allow the American military to attack extremists in western Pakistan did anger a lot of people. But her husband claims it was the work of the Pakistani Secret Service. Peter? All right, Michelle, thank you. Our Michelle Cormier in Karachi, Pakistan, tonight.